It's back to work for the University of Hawaii football team after spending the last four days away from the football field. The Warriors return to full practice as they prepare for Louisiana Tech next Wednesday. Now, technically, this is the Warriors' bye week. However, because of the rare Wednesday game, they're preparing like it's game week. And the best part of their preparations, the return of John Fonoti and Pai Pai Falemalu, two of the Warriors' best pass rushers who have been out with injury. They're both great athletes. Uh, that was part of our problem on pass rush this last weekend. You have to be able to, to rush four. Hearing Coach Mack talk about how me and John, the big girl, it kind of hypes me up. It makes me want to get back even faster. So I just got to keep getting treatment and keep getting my leg better. I'm very excited to see uh, Fonati on the field because uh, we haven't seen him all year. And everybody knows he's a threat, you know, and uh, I think that he's going to be, he's gonna be a, a force this coming game. Now the Warriors are practicing like today was Tuesday of a normal week. They depart for Louisiana to start conference play on Sunday. Well, we took uh, the last two days and uh, ran and worked out, but we got them away from football. Uh, you know, it was good to get a little bit of a rest. You know, we weren't completely off. You never are during season, so. But it's good to kind of, you know, get your mind away for, you know, a couple days and just kind of relax for a minute. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. After three days of conditioning and weight training, UH football team returned to practice today to a much needed surprise. Defensive ends Feti Nongo Fonoti and Pai Pai Falimalu have both been taken off the injured list. How are you feeling? Uh, you think you'll be able to go on Wednesday? Yeah, I think I'll be able to go on Wednesday. Right now I'm not 100%, so the coaches, uh, they just want me to get some reps and stuff. And they just say, watch out your ankle, don't re-hurt it or re-injure it or make it worse. So just getting as much reps as I can. And it is Pai Pai Falamalu who comes up with it. Hearing Coach Mack talk about how me and John play a big girl, it kind of hypes me up. It makes me want to get back even faster. So I just got to keep getting treatment and keep getting my leg better. Falimalu and Fonoti, who had a sprained knee, both expected to play in their WAC opener next Wednesday against Louisiana Tech. And check the new look today of linebacker Corey Paredes. I, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a new style. I mean, people are happy with it. Some people in my family are not happy with it, but I'm going to uh, see how long I could use it. Have you named it? What is, it, what, what is that haircut um, called? I don't know. Maybe the pit bull mullet. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's up for grabs right now. Hey, what do you think of Corey's uh, pit bull mullet? His pit bull mullet? Oh, I don't know. I, I personally am liking it a lot. Would you say the pit bull mullet is in your future? Um, I, th I think it's one of the hairstyles in my past, actually. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it could be in the future for uh, all of us. I don't know. Two and one Warriors back on the road Sunday. Bulldogs are one and took uh, the last two days and ran and worked out but we got him away from football as far as uh, we didn't have practice we didn't have meetings we've been rehabbing uh, we did get uh, a couple of new players back it's quite a checklist for wounded warriors but most of them will be better off by next wednesday's kickoff at la tech after an hour of game planning this morning uh hit the practice field backup qb brent roush came out wearing a black brace for his injured throwing hand starting o-lineman la pepe latuli has a slight sprain after getting hurt during running drills but he'll be fine and so will starting defensive lineman von miatogo who sprained his ankle against unlv uh defensive lineman also welcome back into the rotation john Fanoti and Pai Pai Falimalu, which Coach Max says will make a huge difference. It's a blessing right there, you know, to have uh, two of our best pass rushers on the field again. Um, I'm very excited to see uh, Fanoti on the field because uh, we haven't seen him all year, and everybody knows he's a threat, you know, and uh, I think that he's going to be, he's going to be a, a force this coming game. Uh, that was part of our problem on pass rush this last weekend. You have to be able to, to rush four, and we were playing a three-man front, so now we're back where we should be. Everybody, let's talk sports. The UH Warrior football team got back on the practice field today after a couple of days off. Hawaii staggering its preparation for a unique Wednesday showdown on the road against Louisiana Tech next week. And the Warrior players say the days out of the pads and helmets, especially following an 11 day road swing, were much appreciated. It was refreshing to just come home, see all the boys in the locker rooms, uh, playing around, joking around. I'm just happy to be home. That, that road trip was uh, too much for me, so thank God. 
Especially with me, I had shoulder problems a little bit, um, you know, a little nicks and bruises there, but being in the training room, next couple of days, resting, clearing my mind from football, focusing on school and everything, and just getting refreshed again, you know, it feels good to be, take a couple of days off and then come back out here again, ready to work. Uh, you know, it's good to get a little bit of a rest, you know, we weren't completely off, you never are during season, so, but it's good to kind of, you know, get your mind away for, you know, a couple of days and just kind of relax for a minute. We got him away from football as far as uh, we didn't have practice, we didn't have meetings, but they, we kept them working out to be physically in shape. Uh, we've, we've been rehabbing. Uh, we did get uh, a couple of new players back. In fact, Hawaii welcomed back a couple of key defensive players to the practice field. Enns, Pai Pai Falimalu, and John Fonoti participated this morning, albeit in a limited manner. The two are considered by the coaches to be the best pass rushing ends on the squad. Falimalu, a redshirt freshman out of Kahuku, missed the UNLV game with a sprained ankle. And Fonoti, a senior out of Farrington and the lone returning full time starter on the Hawaii D, has yet to play this season with an injured knee. They're both great athletes. Uh, that was part of our problem on pass rush this last weekend. You have to be able to, to rush four. And we were playing a three-man front, and uh, we were all basically tackles. And we had a linebacker playing, you know, playing an end. Now we're back where we should be, and hopefully, hopefully they can stay uninjured for this week. And, you know, you, you've got to mix four-man rushes with five, six, seven. But uh, we didn't have a four-man rush last week. Hearing Coach Mack talk about how me and John play a big girl, it kind of hypes me up. It makes me want to get back even faster. So I just got to keep getting treatment and keep getting my leg better. But it's been a, it's a humbling experience hearing Coach say something like that about me, especially being a freshman. I was just, like amazed or wowed by what he said. Now on a more trivial note, some of the players were also wowed this morning by the new hairstyle unveiled by linebacker Corey Paredes. He even came up with a name for it. I don't know, maybe the pit bull mullet. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's up for grabs right now. People are happy with it. Some people in my family are not happy with it, but I'm going to uh, see how long I could use it. Could the uh, pit bull mullet be in your future? Um, I, th I think it's one of the hairstyles in my past, actually. <laughs> uh, I doubt it. I'll leave that to Corey. <laughs> Warriors and Bulldogs go at it next Wednesday. Kickoff is at 2 p.m. Hawaii time live on ESPN2.